Hello everyone, welcome to Ikeda platform and this is Ravin Jangir here, your electrical faculty and in this video I am going to dictate about the disadvantages or you can say the various disadvantages of HVDC transmission system. I have already discussed about the advantages of HVDC transmission system. Now I will dictate one by one the disadvantages of HVDC system. So I will start with uh, the first point that is the costing of costing of terminal equipment costing of terminal equipment. So if I talk about the terminal equipment, so there are the various terminal equipments I can talk about which are uh, such as the rectifiers and inverters. If I talk about the rectifier, it does the AC to DC conversion. If I talk about the inverters, then it will do the DC to AC conversion. Okay, so due to these uh, inclusion of these converters, we we can say that the costing of costing of overall system increased. Okay, guys. Now let's proceed for the another point. We have talked about the costing of terminal equipments. Now I will talk about the DC circuit breaker. So this is a circuit breaker. If I talk about the normal circuit breaker, it is actually current interrupting device. If there is a fault condition, then it will open up the contacts, uh, contacts of uh, circuit breaker so that the unhealthy section can be uh, disconnected from the healthy section and uh, no further damages can be seen in this uh, power system supply. So if we talk about the DC circuit breaker, it is similar to the functions are similar to the AC circuit breaker, but it is actually in the process of uh, technological improvement or you can say the technological development. So I will write, if I talk about the DC circuit breaker, then it is, it is similar to AC circuit breaker, but in the development or you can say improvemental process now now i am talking about the point number 3 which is uh, related with the additional equipments one second additional equipment so what is the additional equipments okay what is the additional equipments uh, i am talking about these are actually the your converter transformer okay converter transformer transformer you can say the pole control or uh, wall control control etc or one thing you can also add electrical no oh, i cannot write here okay electrical and mechanical auxiliaries mechanical auxiliaries now the second point i can add that due to these equipments due to these equipments the costing overall costing is also increased and uh, difficult to maintain these uh, extra or additional equipments okay because the maintenance is also required and that's why the overall costing is increasing uh, now i'm talking about the point number four i'm talking about the point number four the complicated control complicated control if i talk about the complicated control because the converter the converter is used to control the transmission lines transmission lines but if i am talking about the control 
then that is becoming difficult to control. Difficult to control. But when under the abnormal conditions, under the abnormal conditions, remember this point. Okay, guys. Now, I am talking about the point number five, which is uh, included in this, the change in, uh, you can say, change in the system level or uh, the better to write is system failure. Okay, so if I'm if I'm talking about the system failure, when the system can fail under the abnormal conditions, it can there may be a chances of failure. Okay, uh, it is also in the AC and it is also in the DC. So if if I'm talking about the disadvantages, so I'm including in this point also. Okay, the system failure. If I talk about the system failure now, I can write that. Uh, due to some abnormal condition abnormal conditions system may fail to operate system may fail to operate the point number 6 is <clears throat> harmonic filter What is the harmonic filter? Okay, actually the harmonic are uh, harmonics uh, harmonic. If I'm talking about the harmonics, then it is actually uh, disturbance. You can call it. Okay, and due to the harmonic, additional frequencies are included. Okay, which is uh, other than the fundamental frequency, and that causes the instability condition can be seen. So if I'm talking about the harmonic filters, then the some of the points can be added here that due to this harmonic uh, filter i can write in the input side in the input side the ac supply ac supply to the rectifiers to the rectifiers or you can say to mitigate to mitigate these harmonics or mit mitigate these harmonics the amount of filtration can be done amount of filtration can be done and which causes the overall costing of equipment not the equipment overall costing of system increases now i'm proceeding for the next one that is the point number seven so point number seven i can uh, call the it is the complicated cooling complicated cooling so what is the complicated cooling what is the complicated cooling as the complicated uh, equipments are uh, used in the HVDC transmission. So that's why the complicated cooling can be seen easily. Okay. So as we are using the thyristor walls, IGBT walls, GTO walls. So if I'm talking about the cooling for that, then it is actually complicated because the power electronics devices are used and these are complicated in terms of operations. Okay. Now I'm using the complicated cooling. So the converter converter uh, used the power electronic devices devices and during the operation during the operation a very high amount of a very high amount of heat is produced heat produced then it is difficult to control that heat sometimes it is seen that it is difficult to control that 
ओके नाउ वी विल मूव फॉर द पॉइंट नंबर एट एंड इट इज ओवरलोड कैपेसिटी इट इज ओवरलोड कैपेसिटी सो वॉट इज द ओवरलोड ओवरलोड कैपेसिटी इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द ओवरलोड कैपेसिटी देन द कन्वर्टर कन्वर्टर कैन नॉट ऑपरेट और दे आर देर इज फेलिंग of operation for the converters cannot operate under the under the overloading i think you know the overloading so overloading conditions overloading conditions the point number 9 i can add multi terminal multi terminal network as in the hv or uh, you can say ac transmission the distribution or uh, the transmission was in the form of multi terminal network but in the if i am talking about the hv dc transmission then it is not happening in the hv dc the multi terminal network is not possible in the hv dc transmission i can easily write that not possible or better to write not suitable for hvdc transmission not for hvdc transmission uh, i should write not suitable not suitable in hvdc transmission theek okay. hai so these are the actually the disadvantages of uh, hvdc transmission i hope you have understood up to this point and uh, the advantages and disadvantages uh, are clearly written in these slides and next we will proceed with some important topics and don't miss this topics so tata bye bye and thank you